Okay, guys. I'm gonna go finish this up for later. Hey guys, I'm back. You got you guys are back with Michelle, and today we're gonna be doing one of my special. Let me how to put it. Uh, one of my special appetizers, and it is guacamole. Now, what I did was this is probably gonna be well. This is gonna be a very very short video, but I've already took the liberty to cut up things that I use in my guacamole. Now, the first thing I you know I have is a avocado. Avocado is uh, so I got my little notes here, so I'm telling you guys the wrong thing. But it's very good in magnesium and potassium, and it has 20 minerals and vitamins, and it's also good for uh, your healthy heart and also a natural uh, detoxification. So I think that's one of the good things about it, and it's a healthy fat versus a, a bad fat. But what I do, um, like I said, it's a couple things I want to point out first. Someone had to show me how to open up an avocado, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. We're going to start with that first. So take your knife. And just go all the way around it. You can do your nice little twist. One side here, this side. Just take your knife. Just twist that. I got a little bowl over here that I'm using to pull out my little scrap in. And I've already put like one avocado in here just to jump start the process, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go around this one like such. So you're just gonna take your spoon and go around and just get all those goodies out. Put that in there. Also I'm gonna do this one. See how pretty that is? Now all the ingredients that you see here that I have lined up, you don't necessarily have to do that. Some people don't like onions, some people don't like cilantro. But this right here is just for me, it's a general base. So you can always put what you want to put in it. Now, I normally put a uh, jalapeno in mine, but I don't have one today, so I'm not going to do that. So uh, the jalapeno gives it an extra little spice, actually, you know, it just kicks it up a notch. So, and the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the, the actual cilantro. Now, I've already got some cut up and cleaned over here, but cilantro is one of those types of... Uh, what you buy that can be very, uh, I'm just going to say gritty, dirty, sandy. So I always let mine soak for about 10-15 minutes and then I'll put it in something to drain it with a colander, soak it again, drain it again. just want to make sure it's clean because, you know, one thing, you don't want to prepare something and have that good flavor going and then you turn grit. It just throws everything out the box. So, like I said, I've already got some avocado in here. It's going to take me a minute to get it with it up and everything, but I'm just going to go ahead and add some some of the ingredients I got. Let me go ahead and just put a little salt in. A little salt is just going to bring out everything. Just a little bit of salt there. As you can see, I got onions. A few more onions. I love onions. You don't have. You can use what you want to use. Tomatoes. I'm just going to pretty much put all these in there. And of course, the main thing to me is the cilantro. I love it. And what I also like to do is put some lemon juice in mine. It just keeps it from turning colors. It helps it keep that green, vibrant flavor. I've already got my guacamole in the refrigerator, stir it up, mix up quite well. It's actually chilling right now. But I want to share something else with you guys. These lightly salted restaurant style chips. I'm going to take some of these and put them in the pan. And I'm going to put them on, in the oven on low for about 400. And I just like it because it gives it the chips. So, you know, it's just an extra crispy taste. So I'm going to put these in the oven and I'm going to get back with you guys. As you guys can see, I've got my guacamole out of the refrigerator. I'm just going to take it and put it in a bowl. Like I said, you can eat this by yourself. You can have some friends over. You guys can enjoy some guacamole, watch a movie. And it's all about having good comfort food. That's what brings the family together. My chips are already out. I'm getting ready to dig in and try. That's 
That is really, really good. Really, really good. Once again, I encourage you guys to try this dish. It's very healthy for you. It's light. And it's just a nice advertisement. Like I said, you can have it for yourself or you can get together with you and your family and friends and just enjoy. Until next time, I'm out.